Welcome to Life as Usual, a video blog dedicated to making you a more impactful leader through the ideas of self-awareness, execution, and direction. Today I want to talk about the idea of not boxing your old opinions. Those old opinions are better counterpunchers than Floyd Mayweather, and I guarantee you, after fighting with you, they'll be undefeated too. So old opinions are seductive. The reason why they're seductive is that our brains are good at pulling the negative opinions or ideas or actions from the world and keeping track of them. This was a survival mechanism. When our humanity first started, keeping note of that lion in the savanna was far more important than that nice thing someone said to you at lunch. These ideas and feelings haven't gone anywhere. And even in the modern world, when we don't mostly have to worry about lions killing us, we still have those old opinions and those old negative ideas trapped in our head. It's our evolution in our brain. It's not going anywhere. What is an old opinion? Well, an old opinion can be anything, but more than likely, it's probably something negative that happened to you. The reason why I call it an opinion is that I don't know the perspective of the person that did the thing to me. It may have come from a good place or a bad place. The only thing I know is how I felt about it. That's an opinion, it's not a fact. The thing is, you wanna go around in life not treating those old negative things as facts and merely opinions. That change of work can help you frame the way you see it. How should you move instead of keeping those old opinions? Well, Bruce Lee talked about this concept of water and the way he explained it is, think of water. Water can move mountains if it has to, but also it can get into any crevice. Water lets things flow. And through that flow, it becomes unstoppable no matter where it needs to go. Water gets everywhere. So in life, if you can find a way to be like water, to let those opinions just flow over you as opposed to stop, then you can move on. Where do those old opinions come from? Those old opinions come from life, and there's no way of avoiding them. We're human beings, we're not robots. We deal with emotions and perceptions. So there's no way of avoiding those old opinions from cropping up. You just have to let them pass. Let it go. Here's the kicker. Old opinions aren't really doing anything but stopping your progress. They're a trick your mind uses to get your thoughts from a more difficult idea to something that they can control. We can control memories. Complex things, we can't really control. Oftentimes when we think of those old opinions, we're afraid of progress. So how can you see this through the ideas of self-awareness, execution, and direction? Self-awareness. You have to be aware that old opinions are there to distract you. For the most part, these are things that are in the past that you really can't control. So what happened, happened. You just have to understand that it happened and understand that that's your brain trying to pull you away from something more interesting. Execution. I'm gonna try something with you that's gonna be a little different than what you might be expecting. Instead of leaning away from those opinions, lean into them. What are those old opinions causing? What outcomes do you think they're going to lead into? And I want you to think about them. This exercise is something called negative visualization. And the Stoics used it to think about the worst stuff that could happen and to prepare themselves mentally for it. If your brain is going to think about these old opinions constantly, use them to make you stronger mentally. Take about five to 10 minutes, and go to a quiet place, close your eyes, and then think about the thing that's scaring you and then add to it. Think about all the worst things that could happen. Think about the world coming to an end. Think about your mom hating you. Think about all the bad things that these old opinions are, are screaming at you about. Like that person that took your parking space really knows the true you and they, they came to, to expose you as the jerk that you are. Take all that and think about it and take them to their conclusion. Think about it for five to 10 minutes and walk through it. They called you a jerk and then everyone came out of the parking lot and pointed at you. 
What's the worst case? What happens next? Generally, as you take these things to their conclusion, you find that things aren't even really that bad. And you're able to deal with it. You start thinking about solutions instead of worrying about them. So now you're using your old opinions as fuel to get you stronger. Direction. Instead of like committing them to memory, you might want to write them down. Every time you have one of those old opinions, try to figure out, much like a habit, what is cueing you into thinking those things. Try to figure out where they're coming from, and then you can be more proactive about using it in your visualization exercise. Let's wrap this up. Self-awareness. You want to be aware that those old opinions are stopping you from progress. Execution. You want to try negative visualization in order to see and feel just how bad they can be and realize that it's probably not as bad as you think. And direction. You want to write down anytime you feel those feelings out and about so you can proactively deal with them. If you look in the description box, you'll find a couple of books that help me dive deep into emotional intelligence. They've had exercises, research, and deep dives that help me bring these concepts to you. This isn't a one-way conversation. And in fact, it's not a two-way either. We're part of a community, the Life as Usual community. And as leaders, especially creative leaders, emotional intelligence is something that we all need to get better at. We can reach out to each other through the comments section, through sharing this video, through liking it, and help each other talk about, build upon, and explore these concepts in these videos. Remember, I'm not just a teacher, I'm a student as well. Help me learn your perspective.